Now at 5 o'clock, CBS4 new cameras are there as the Coast Guard unloads a major haul of cocaine cargo. We're talking about $48 million worth of cocaine seized in three different busts. CBS4's David Sutta is live at Coast Guard Miami Beach with more for us. David? Elliot, we watched all these drugs being brought on shore. They were in garbage bags and some of them were wrapped in these rice sacks from the United States of America, oddly as that may sound. Uh, they have taken those drugs away from here and they're being destroyed as we speak. You could call what happened here today a good day. As the U.S. Coast Guard Valiant pulled into the port of Miami Friday, a host of families and girlfriends waited anxiously. I'm excited for him to do some uh, changing of the diapers. <laughs> Melissa and her nine-month-old Robbie last saw dad two months ago. They've been working so hard, I've barely been able to talk to my husband over email just because he's been so busy. The hard work paid off. The crew offloaded some 3,800 pounds of cocaine today, all from a series of interdictions in the Caribbean. In one case, things got interesting as they actually had to open fire from a helicopter. They didn't stop. They started jettisoning the contraband overboard. Then we proceeded to what's called disabling fire, where we actually had the marksmen fire 50 caliber rounds into the engine cowling of the outboard. That stopped the vessel. The Coast Guard also stopped another go-fast boat loaded up, and then the sailboat out of St. Petersburg. They found it sailing near Columbia with 100 kilos on board. The vessels run at night. They run under cover of darkness. They don't have any navigation lights on their vessels. So obviously we are out there actively looking and searching. All told, the crew pulled in about $50 million in cocaine. When it hits the streets and is cut up and distributed, that, that dollar value goes up even higher. It was perhaps one of the best homecomings you could have. A good haul sealed with a kiss. And for Robbie and Melissa, finally some help. Well, she said she's looking forward to you changing some diapers. <laughs> no problem. I'll, I'll do that. Obviously very happy to be home. This is all part of a very large operation called Operation Martillo. It's involving the U.S. Navy and also the militaries of various countries in the Caribbean, South America, Central America. They continue to work this uh, down south. They also have made several arrests in this operation, nearly a dozen. They plan to prosecute them here in the United States. We're live on Miami Beach. David Sutter, CBS 4 News. Good to see the dad is back. Thanks for that, David.